algebraic vectors in R2. Let's try to explore unit vector notation. The question here is part A. Write the given three vectors using unit vectors i and j. So we have three vectors here. Let me name them. So let's say this is vector A for us. This is vector B and this is vector C. So we're given these three vectors. We need to write them using unit vectors i and j. And part B of this question is find sum of the given vectors. So we have to add them up and find what their sum is. Now when we talk about unit vectors then we have standard vectors i which is a unit vector in the direction of x-axis. So one unit is the magnitude of i and therefore i is 1 comma 0 right now that shows the direction one unit towards x right similarly j is a unit vector along y-axis and you could write this as 0 1 now 0 1 is a unit vector along y-axis and that is the value of j so any vector in our Cartesian plane can be represented as sum of these two vectors so they form a basis for R2. This is very important, right? And as you can see, both are perpendicular or orthogonal, right? Now let's consider vector A. So when we say vector A, what is the component of vector A along the x-axis? 1, 2, 3. That is the component. The coordinate for this point is 3 along the x-axis and 1, 2, 3, 4 along the y-axis. That means we can write scalar multiple of i, right? So 3 times i gives us this direction. 3 times 1, 0 will give us the component of a along x-axis. Or we can write this as 3i. And along j, it is 4 units times j. j is a unit vector. So 4j. So j specifies direction which is along y. So they become scalar multiples of our unit vectors along x and y axis. So that is a very convenient and helpful notation to represent vectors. And we will soon see how they can be applied to do algebraic operations. Similarly, we'll write vector b in the form of unit vectors. Now this direction is minus i, right? It's going in minus x direction. So the component here is 1, 2, 3. So it's minus 3i and for the y component it is 2 units plus 2j. So that is vector b in terms of our unit vectors i and j. And similarly we can write what c is. Now c is along negative y direction and the units are 1, 2, 3 units. So we can write this as minus 3j. So minus 3j represents c. So first part was to write these vectors using unit vectors notation. I think you understand now. i is a unit vector along x-axis and can be written as 1, 0. j is a unit vector along y-axis and can be written as 0, 1. And with their linear co combinations, we can write any vector in 2D. Now let's do some of these vectors. So what we are trying to do now is A plus B plus C. Now when you do A plus B plus C, then basically you can combine their components. So these are the components, right? This is X component, that is Y component. So let's add them up. So when you add 3 minus 3, you get 0, minus 3, so you get minus 3. So you get minus 3 sorry this is for j component I should have written 0 here and j there right so that would be better so let me just rewrite so basically what we have here is as far as the i components are concerned it is minus 3 and minus 3 right so so we get 0 along the i component so we get nothing along the i component right so let me write 0 i first and along the j we get 4 plus 2 minus 3 6 minus 3 that means plus 3j 3j so basically when you add these vectors up you get a resultant vector which is 
3G. So that is your answer as a sum. As you can see here, if I resolve the vectors, let's say the first vector is 3, 4. So it is x component is shown here, right? And the x component for the vector b is in this direction. The c does not have any component along x-axis. Now these two are equal, so they cancel out, so we get a zero here, correct? As far as the y components are concerned, for b, the y component is this. Now, and for a, the y component is 4. Now, 4 and 2 add up to 6, and for c, it is minus 3. So, you take away 3, and you get plus 3 here. So, that is how you can visualize and get your answer. So, using unit vectors, it becomes very easy to find algebraic solutions to our problems. Thank you.